Hi there. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can import OpenStreetMap building footprints into a LIMA queue. So when we create noise models, we usually need some information about buildings. Sometimes we can use survey data. Sometimes we have to manually digitize from satellite images. images. Often this digitizing work has already been done by the OpenStreetMap community and we can take advantage of that. So one way to do that is to download OpenStreetMap tiles for a whole country or a whole federal state and extract the information that we need. Usually these tiles come with a complete set of OpenStreetMap data, which includes roads, railways, waterways, and um, often a lot of information that we don't need for our model. So if we only need specific data such as building footprints or if we already know what kind of data we need from the OpenStreetMap data set, then there is a very handy tool in QGIS. It's called Quick OSM. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use it. So before we dive into the process of downloading OpenStreetMap data with Quick OSM, we should first check on the normal OpenStreetMap if there is data for the area that we're interested in. So we have already configured a XYZ tile in QGIS to show the OpenStreetMap. And if you run a QGIS version of uh, 3.4 or younger, then you have already this OpenStreetMap tile service um, pre-installed in your um, QGIS. So in the browser window, you go to XYZ tiles and then pull the OpenStreetMap into your layers panel and then zoom into the area of interest. Okay, so here we can see that there are definitely roads and there are also the buildings that we are interested in. When we compare this with the satellite image, yeah, that looks pretty complete. That means we have, or there is OpenStreetMap data for the area we are interested in. Okay, so the next step is if you haven't downloaded Quick OSM yet, to download it, it's quite easy. You go to Plugins, Manage and Install Plugins, and then you type in Quick, and then you already see the Quick OSM plugin, and then you can download it. Once you've downloaded it, you can go to Vector, Quick OSM, Quick OSM, and that opens the Quick OSM interface. So in our example, we're interested in the buildings. So we do a quick query on the building footprint. Oh, building on the building key. And we query on all values and we query in the canvas extent. In the advanced section, we can select the different geometry types that we are interested in. And here we uncheck points, lines, and multi-line strings, and then run the query. Okay, so successful query, one layer has been added. We close the window, and we see that there is a new building layer in our layers panel. Let's take a click, closer look at it. Okay, that looks pretty good, I would say. And that's basically it. Now let's take a look at the attribute table. And what we can see here that all of the OpenStreetMap categories are included in the attribute table. What is not included, however, is information about the height. So to use this data in Lima Q, we have to add a new column and we have to find a way to, to create the height um, for the buildings. 
So there are two ways and I'm going to show you the first way. The first way is to assume that the buildings have a general height. So that is the way that we would have to go if we don't have any information and we also don't have any um, chance of getting more information of this these buildings. So first we start the editing mode, then we go to the field calculator, then we create a new field called Z and it should be a decimal number and then we say we assume that the heights of all buildings is for example 8 meters. We click OK and now we have a new field where all buildings are assigned the same height. Okay, we can save that. And that's it. Now we have created building footprints with a um, with a standard height. And if we want to use this now in Lima Q, we have to create an obstacle uh, file that we copy these building footprints in. So to create the obstacle file, we create a new Lima layer, choose obstacles, click OK, the geometry type is polygon, we select the correct coordinate reference system, and then we save it in our project folder. Okay. And now the next step is to copy the building footprints from our OSM import and paste them into the new building obstacle layer. To do that, we select all of our buildings and we click on copy. In the layers panel, we now select our new obstacle layer, click on edit, and now we can paste the features. And as you can see here, we pasted 148 features successfully. Now we can save it. And now we can go to the attribute table of our obstacle layer. And we can see that it has been successfully created. All of our obstacles are here and we also have the Z height that we created. Okay, that was it for this lesson. In the next lesson, we're going to take a look at adding real height information from digital surface models to our OpenStreetMap buildings. Thank you for watching.